Professor Charles Kingsland and I established the NHS Fertility and IVF Service in the northwest of England. And as part of Fertility Awareness Week, I want to share the five steps of applying for fertility treatment, where you live, as well as how to appeal if your application is denied. The National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence Guidance of 2013 clearly states that fertility patients should receive three full cycles of funded treatment. However, the first thing to know about NHS funding is that it varies widely from region to region and even from postcode to postcode. Many patients will not be granted funding for these three cycles. This isn't fair, as is a national health service, not a local one, and I believe that access to funding should be consistent across the UK. So here are the five steps of applying for fertility treatment funding. Step one, find your local clinical commissioning group or CCG as it's abbreviated to. Availability and criteria for fertility treatment funding in England is decided by your local CCG. And each CCG has its own rules. So you need to know which manages your area. You can find this out on the NHS website and search for finding clinical commissioning groups. Step two, find out what funding is available to you. Now you know the name of your CCG, search for its assisted conception policy. You should be able to find this online and it will explain the exact details of what funding is available in your area and how to apply for it. CCG criteria for NHS funding can change quite often, so it's important you have the most up-to-date information. And if you aren't sure, speak with your NHS liaison manager at the fertility clinic where you wish to have treatment and they should be able to advise you. Step three, assess your lifestyle. Most CCGs have certain criteria that you need to meet in order to be accepted for funding. For example, you'll need to have been trying for a family for over two years and you will need a body mass index within a certain range. Many CCGs also require for you not to smoke. So see if there's anything that you need to change about your lifestyle before applying for funding. Step four, speak with your GP. And if you think you're eligible for NHS funding, they will be able to confirm that and can refer you to a fertility clinic for treatment. Step five, you must remember that you can choose your fertility clinic. Your GP can provide you with a full list of local IVF clinics which have been approved by your CCG. You can choose whichever one of these clinics you wish to, including private clinics um, like Care Fertility, for example. And there are many factors that you might wish to consider when choosing a fertility clinic, not just the success rates, but also the types of treatment offered, the waiting lists, the time that the clinic will dedicate to you, whether it's large or small or close by or far away, and the patient experience and support. Word of mouth is also um, very important. But once you've chosen a fertility clinic, your GP will send a referral letter to that clinic. And it may take a few weeks for your GP to send the referral. But once the fertility clinic receives it, it might take another couple of weeks before they process the application. Processing an NHS funding application varies from clinic to clinic and CCG to CCG as well. So for an accurate timescale, speak with your chosen clinic about how long you're gonna to have to wait. Once all the paperwork has been sorted, the clinic will get in touch with you and organize your fertility assessment and consultation. At Care Fertility, treatment will be exactly the same as with any other patient. There is no waiting list to be seen for most care clinics. So once your application has been processed, we will be able to book you an appointment straight away. Remember that your fertility treatment is just that, it's your funding. It isn't the hospital's funding or the clinic's funding, but yours and you have a lot of control how it's used. For example, if you aren't happy with the care you're receiving at the fertility clinic, 
you may change to a different one. It's perfectly possible. If your application for fertility funding is rejected, you can appeal. Contact the chair of the head of the commissioning group of your local CCG, you may want to write to your MP about how your CCG is failing to meet its obligations to the 2013 guidelines. So don't accept that you won't receive funding. There is lots of more information about this and the letter templates to appeal against funding rejection on the website for the Fertility Network UK, the national fertility charity. At CARE, we believe that family is for everyone and that everyone should be able to access the treatment you need. If you have any questions about applying for NHS funding, just get in touch with us and we can help you.